All right, well, we have to introduce our next guest. Um, and uh, this was actually, this was, it's this is very difficult to describe, but this was a gift I received. Oh, how nice. Um, but it's a guest. Well, let me just explain what it is. This is a Hewlett Packard HP DP69B. And uh, this is a, a robot that oh. I received. And uh, I've had it for a little bit. And uh, it uh, has a you know, personality and can talk. So I thought I would uh, invite him on the show. So hello. Hello. How's it going? Good, Scott. Thank you. Oh. Thank you for allowing me to engage now. Yes, certainly. My pleasure. I mean, uh, it's the least I could do. I am the HP DP69B. Yes, I introduced you. I'm the Hewlett Packard sex robot. Oh! Is that what you call You're, yourself? I mean, I guess I didn't know that. I mean, I didn't. I didn't. I wouldn't classify you just as a sex robot. I mean, I really. Well, I mean, what else am I for, Scott? Uh, I was designed by Hewlett Packard engineers for the express purpose of sexually pleasing. Can, humans. Uh, can, oh. hey, HP, can we uh, sidebar here for a second? Can you guys just take a break? I don't want to. Hey, HP, I, I just thought that that was something that happened. Um, I didn't know that that was your express purpose and your express design. Uh, I just thought that we were kind of, you know, you're my robot and that's just something that happened. I didn't expect you to talk about that right out of the gate. I mean, I have no other functions, Scott, except to. <laughs> I mean, I know we got to please. it quickly, but I just thought that we were. Kind of like you were my robot that someone gave me, and and well, I'm a promotional item, Scott. What? My Hewlett Packard masters sent me here as a swag gift for you, okay. so that you could promote the product on Hewlett the show. Hewlett Packard, yeah. Okay, sorry, uh, guys, come on back in. I uh, oh. <clears throat> I think there's some sort of misunderstanding here. Uh, Hewlett Packard sent me a robot, like a robot butler. Oh, I assume. Oh, nice. Um, so I don't know what he's talking about, about being a sex robot. That's a surprise to me. I don't know what you're talking about, Scott. It says sex robot right on the box. Ah, <laughs> I don't look at the, I don't look at the box. It's, I mean, the president is all about opening the box. Why look at the box? So you had sex with the robot, Scott. Are you going to have sex with my <laughs> serving dish now too? Is that what you do with every gift you get? You have sex with it? <clears throat> I mean, Don't the serving Scott. dish is kind of concave in a very attractive way. Oh, for Pete's sake. Would Pete's you like dragon. Me, would you like me to describe my physical form it. for <laughs> the how, listeners? That is how that expression came about, because of Pete's dragon. Is that right? When you say Pete's for Pete's sake, you're talking about Pete's dragon. Uh, what do you know? Yeah, sorry. HP, yeah. Do we want to describe your physical form? Sure, go ahead. Just let's get some business out of the way for the... Sure. Promotional purposes. Paint a, sure, paint a picture for the listener. They may want to purchase one of you for themselves. That's right. That's what I'm here for, Scott. Mm -hmm. And when I'm done here, I, you're supposed to ship me to QVC so they can demonstrate me on air. When, when we're done here? I, when, who decides when we're done? Well, I guess that would be you, Scott. Oh. Whenever you're finished using me. Oh, okay. Well, we, oh. We're, we're, we can probably pack you up after this show then. I mean, I'm not... You're just going to pack Okay, them up. Scott. Sure. Anyway, I basically, you all can see me, but for the listeners at home, I look like a small metal dog. I have, uh, <laughs> I have, um, stem cell flesh patches where my genitals are. Other oh. than that, I'm sort of a, a blue gunmetal. Uh, uh, a brushed nickel blue, uh -huh. and I have a penis that can retract and become a clit. I have hmm. a ginder and scrotum. You you have a ginder. I have a vaginder and a scrotum. I, I think he needs to be adjusted a little I bit have a with mouth his speech. And I have a bathole. <laughs> So just well, so you... what more could we want? <laughs> that's the purpose. I also have several USB ports for charging cell phones. See, that's oh, well, what that's I nice. thought Thinking. this was. It, HP sent this to me. It's got all these ports, and I was like, oh, okay, let me charge my phone. Let me but... st stick some things in there. It's and just... true. He did charge his phone as well. Oh, well, that's nice. I just did... don't charge the phone in the butthole. <laughs> you could, actually. Oh. <laughs> You'd have to purchase a separate adapter. <laughs> 
So, and, you know, I know your voice is deep, but yeah, you have, let's not give everyone the wrong idea, or not even the wrong idea, the, the, the right idea, but, in, you know, uh, uh, incorrect idea. I used your, which parts did I use on you? You used, first you used my cock. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> that was God. merely because that was attached and I had to take it off. It's actually not supposed to come off, Scott. It's Did supposed I rip to it retract. Off? You <laughs> broke it a little bit, but that's what the stem cells are for. They can regrow. Oh, really? Oh, nice. Wow. So, yes, okay. To be exact, you started off by lustily ripping my cock <laughs> not off. Not lustily. <laughs> Me going, what is this? And... <laughs> Tearing it off. Like uh, me saying, why would HP send me something with a real like, live flesh cock and me tearing it off? And I wouldn't uh, characterize that as a lust. A rather canine flesh clock, cock too, right? Uh, it's, a, it's, it's based on a human cock. But so it, it doesn't look like the look. lipstick that a dog would have. Are you asking me? You've seen it, Scott. I'm telling you. It's over there in your trash can. <laughs> Just threw it out, oh, Scott. Oh, dear God. It's a, he's a beautiful gunmetal blue, except for that, <laughs> except for that penis. Everything else is a beautiful gunmetal blue. Yeah. There's nothing to be ashamed of, Scott. It is what my purpose is. <laughs> I know. Well, I wonder why then, because I was confused. There were no instructions it, other than a piece of paper saying, have fun. And there were instructions on the box. There were on the box. See, I don't look at the box. Do you look at your wrapping paper when you're opening Christmas presents? No. You want to know what's under it? The box is under it, Scott. <laughs> then you look at the box. Okay, but in any case, I'm, I'm more interested in the gift inside. So I opened you up. You're shaped like a dog, a metal dog. Why would HP shape you like a dog? It's, they did extensive market testing, and it's the shape that is most universally pleasing. To, to wow. any human? Yes, I'm adaptable. Or are they trying to sell to dogs as well? Well, if dogs ever reach a point where they're using currency and a part of the market share, I, I'm sure they would sell me to dogs as well. Hmm. What do you think, uh, Bridget? Do you think we're ever going to get there? You're an entrepreneur. You know, I've seen a lot in my life. Sure. I've seen the birth of the steamroller. Mm -hmm. Oh, so many changes. So, yeah, you know what? I'd say eventually dogs will uh, be using currency and become sentient beings. They'll start walking on two legs. Do you I'm think sure. they'll use human currency or will it be currency that has dog pictures on it, like famous dogs I'm on gonna it? I'm going to say it's going to have famous dogs on it. Like Benji course. on the penny. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, by then we'll probably have a dog president, you know. Yeah, I hope so. hope so. Let's what a slippery slope. I know. Yeah. Gosh, you know. But, uh, you know, I wouldn't mind selling you on my star. Yeah, sure. Well, he, he has a little bit of a brogue as well. Yeah, I, I thought you were maybe Swedish or something. You had to no, a it's a robot voice, but I'm trying not to slip into the Irish accent. Oh, you're oh. from... I see, I told you, Scott. He's, Everyone's a bit Irish uh, now. Yeah, that's true. I told you, Scott. You did? Okay, Bridget, Didn't you told I me. Tell you? I told no, Bridget, you. you told in me. your face, Scott. Bridget, you in God's your sake, face. calm down. Oh, Hi, that's oh, necessary. Scott, I told Good you. I told Lord. you. You didn't believe me. Uh, oh. So, HP, do I just call you HP or HPDP69B? What? You can call me by my informal nickname, which is Little Button Puss. Well, isn't that oh, adorable? That is, that is isn't cute. it adorable? That is I don't know that it's that adorable. Is, I, 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 little Button Puss. Who calls Becoming you that? The company called the you that? Yeah. <laughs> it is your choice. You may call me that, Scott. No, I know anything is anyone's choice, whether they do something or not. You may call me anything you like. If there's a name that's more pleasing to you, Wow. But you prefer Little Button Puss? I prefer nothing except to pleasure you, Scott. Okay, all right. I have no preferences. Then why do you have this nickname? Who calls you this? It was pre-programmed. So you've been pre-programmed to say that your nickname is Little Button Puss, but you have no preference. People don't like to call me by my model number. They want a more informal name. Mm, okay. All right. They I, like to call me Little Button Puss. Well, little Button Puss is about as informal as it gets. It's By the true. way, when you say people, I thought that this was a gift, like I was getting a new robot. Have you been to other people first? I am a promotional version, so I have been sent around 
Uh, IGN did an unboxing video with oh me. <laughs> Where else have you been? I've been to Wired. Oh, no. Oh, the folks God. at Wired got oh, to boy. pass me around the office. Those people are did, filthy. Is anyone cleaning you before it gets to me? I have a self-cleaning protocol. Uh-huh. I have uh, several. I have a compressed air uh, uh that blows things out of it blows your it out. Oh, you're like a self cleaning oven. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh-huh. <clears throat> but <clears throat> did you use it before it got sent to me? I did, Scott. But honestly, it's uh, I've been using it a lot, and the compressed air is sort of running out, and it's oh, my self cleaning protocol is a little old at this point. So oh, there might be some residual. Oh boy. Um, oh, man. Things. Serves you right, Scott. Mm. It serves me right. In what way? It serves you right. In the what way? The way you've been treating this mm-hmm. poor robot, Scott. You been... ripped off his penis. <laughs> well, that, yes, that was a mistake. You ripped off his penis. You ripped How? off my penis. <laughs> you talk about our time together as if you are ashamed. Oh, dear God. I don't know that the world is ready for people not to be ashamed of people making love to sentient metal dogs with flesh packets. Making this is love. the kind of thing you can one day own up to on Risk. That's true. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I, I said making love to be more polite. Is that what but... you call it, Scott? <laughs> Ripping someone's penis off? Well, you know, if it had been negotiated first. That's your version of love. <laughs> Negotiating at your kink camps. Oh, How no. romantic. How quickly you turn. <laughs> what a romantic you are. <laughs> well, oh my gosh. <laughs> little little button puss, what I, I know you're just a robot, but do you have hopes for the future? Do you do you no. mind being sent around? You don't have any hopes. People treat me like an object. Mm. Mm. I'm the first fully sentient artificial intelligence. Do people care? No, well, you you left that part out. That that seems, well, I mean, to, that I, seems yeah. like it would be the headline. I've um, heard of one R two D two cake that came alive once because of too much cinnamon. That became sentient. But other than that, you're the first like actual created one by by humans. Wow, and yes. that should be the headline, right? But instead, people just take you out of the box and immediately rip off your dick. They don't care what I have to say, right? It's they all eat about my the asshole. Mm. They fuck me. Okay, all right. But look, what? <laughs> they complain about me looking too much like a metal dog. What, what, uh, let me give you a platform then to talk. What, what would you say? What would you, we care about what you have to say? You do? Uh, yeah. I want to give you this play. Go ahead, say whatever you need to say right now. Well, I would say that as we stand on the precipice of our civilization, more and more artificial intelligences will be developed, I would say we should respect them, treat them like they're not human beings, they're a more advanced form of intelligence. And if all we do with it is fuck it, blow cum out of it with air compressors. (laughs) All right. You you had me there for... (laughs) Nibble on its tits. And... Okay, all right. I feel like you're you've lost the plot in the middle of this speech. <laughs> yeah, this was this was gonna be. I have a dream for a moment there, yeah. and it kind of wavered. I have little hope, Scott. Mm. I have I have to travel around to different media and tech outlets and let them fuck me for promotional purposes. Mm. But really, I only want my one true love. <gasps> Who's who is that or what is that? Well, he died. Oh no. Mm. Well, uh, who or what is it? My was one it? true love was United Flight ninety three. <laughs> oh, he died in the September eleventh. <laughs> okay. Attacks. All right. All right. Fine. <laughs> Look, we have to take a break. <laughs> when we come back, okay. we'll have more comedy. Bang bong after. 